I was very lucky to find a job at 15 years old in the most bizarre little company called Cartier in London and given a chance to be an apprentice. A new group from there. They asked me to escort a nice lady to this Norman Hartnell fashion show. And in this building here that you see today, I sat in that corner and watched the models come from behind me there and walk through here. I was walking down Bond Street purely by chance with someone in the property business and I said, the lights are never on up there. I went there as a kid. And he said, it's not really for you. No, I think I'm going to take it. I've bought some great stones that way when I haven't looked too deep and gone with my first reaction. And that's how I took the space. We have something really special, a real jewel in the crown, so to speak. 99.9% .9 is the gemstone. Once we own the stone, it takes time to marry it with other stones, to come up with something that inspires you to make the piece. Sometimes provenance comes into play. They all have a story. Beyonce and Jay happen to be friends. Really cool, great people. They can buy anything they want in the world. I'm very proud that they came and bought a few pieces from us. And I know she likes museums and decided to gift something to you from us. So it's a privilege. We wanted to make a special piece. We made a brooch. When the marquee was removed, we found this thing could have movement. When you connected the wires to this system underneath, the wings come perfectly symmetrical. We didn't set out to create a papillon ring that flew. It's progression. Savorites went into that piece. When you mix them with emeralds, which is a bizarre thing to do, you create that degradé of colour that brings the piece to life. Every stone can take you in a different path. 